in my previous videos about Terrigen and Vu, I missed some very important details about the Terrigen. And in this video, I want to cover them to showing some of those features that very important when you are creating professional videos. And they are inside the Terrigen. And uh, in some areas, actually, I was surprised to find they even more powerful that inside the Vu. The first things what I was did miss it I'll show you before and it was when you're going to uh, mouse and keyboard settings you kind of can preview here but you also can modify them inside it's not that um, openly it's inside the view when you're going to properties but they do locate it inside the preferences you need to go inside the input settings and input preset right here where you can select the custom after this, customize bindings, and you can access all those key that you can change and modify in the best performance you like it. So overall, you can access and you can preset those settings as you like it. You also, of course, can reset them when you if you want to go back to originals. So right here is one as a key. The another is very important. It's multi-layer rendering inside the view. If you enable G buffer or multi-layer render, you can select all components. You can actually do same things inside the uh, Turgeon, but I think Turgeon actually implement a little bit better um, after when I look on this and uh, playing with uh, settings. I think the Turgeon actually perform a little bit better in that because it's allowed you to almost set and create different nodes and connect them to the renders on the layers. So let me show you. You're going to create a new node and we'll go to other and we'll select create a render layer so let's open and you notice in render layer right here you can render object groups when you create them with a mask you can select a multiple lights you can have a layer settings the clip when you want it and you also very important can render separate elements atmosphere RGB, the lighting, the geobuffer lighting, and also data for the surface depth in this. This is important when you start working with Adobe After Effects or Nuke and posting this information so you can have this information inside. And that is kind of a nice option as well as say it performed a little bit better because in the view I need to go inside and say my presets or other ones. Right here it's kind of easy. You just create your different render connect to your render layers and now you can export you cannot export as PSD or other format but you still export as a standard X XR format or other ones so in this case when I need to create I can create a new render new render layer and just have it in same field and when I render render from different camera to access them so I think this is a little bit easier to access and a little bit more visible for me to see the settings the also other ones interesting is integrations of the Turgen with other application. For example, Vu have a relighting, and that is very useful when you used inside uh, Vu. However, inside the Turgen, when you look on the render elements, you can also render the surface position and the surface normals. This is also was introduced um, kind of in a Vu 2014 and newer version. So. Uh, in some ways they're taking some what is best already was presenting from Terrigen. But let's look on this one. By using surface position and the surface normal, you can have it inside the new same things, so relighting by using this and you can apply other same options that you can do inside the view. Only instead you can go with your workflow. So again, this is very nice information to pass out uh, to the other application to work and how say these I uh, use it by many studios and how I point before um, when I start working with the render layers and connecting them I discovered that um, they're powerful and in some cases work a little bit better than saving presets inside the view but again this is very subjective personal opinion I do um, kind of recommend for you to try these two ab applications for yourself and see which one will work better for you 
Uh, one more thing I want to add, it is um, to this recording and probably more um, as work along, more comparison come up, I will probably post it more information as I'm going along. Um, overall, what I want to show you, the other big difference is also when you start using a free version. For example, a Vue introduce a nice Pioneer free version that you can use it. Uh, and you also for 30 days can use it Vue Extreme and Infinity as evaluation. After this, it starts producing watermarks on your renders, and even Pioneer will have a watermark on a corner of yours. If you want to have it a free version, uh, the free version does not have it components like ecosystem or other ones. So in some case, you need to go inside and purchase those components afterwards to um, going to version up to complete version. You can go if you buy all of those components. But the free version, it does not have it ecosystem, does not have it um, atmosphere, render, import, export, and many other options. So it's become very basic version. Uh, Terrigen 3, as example, um, they introducing a basic version of their, um, let's look right here. So the free version, the interesting things about the free version, it does already, you can see, include all the additional effects that other ones does not have it, including population and atmosphere and the render, as well as render is a little bit higher than VU and a little bit more details on the render as well. And this is a true free version that for non-commercial, you can use it as you keep it. So as well, it just a comparison on the version to the free ones. That is quite a bit different for the people who um, just going inside the 3D art and uh, start working with the environmental software to create. I think this is um, a very nice way to try it and get into the uh, with the, into the 3D art with a minimal cost. And of course, if you want to learn more about Vu or Tarjan 3 applications, I do recommend for you uh, visit my uh, website is www.geekatplay.com or um, subscribe to the channel on YouTube to see the latest uh, tutorials and information about these applications. Uh, thank you for watching this add-on video and uh, how I say as long we work together if I discover more interesting and very important additions I will be posted them to this comparison.